Hey guys, welcome to today's video where we'll be cleaning and restoring these area western cowboy boots. My name is Evan and my goal is to teach you guys how to love your leather, inspire you to be better stewards of what you own, as well as give you the skills and tools necessary to do it. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so here's the question. Should I use my saddle soap for my boots as most people suggest or something else? And my answer is it depends on your preference. This is my take. I have successfully used saddle soap on tons of shoes and boots over the years, but the thing is that saddle soap is a mix of soaps, oils, and waxes, which means that it innately is going to darken your leather to some degree. With specific leathers, that's completely fine, but here's the thing. If you use a product like ShoeMGK, you're getting a versatile product that you can use on all types of materials, including leather, nubuck, and suede whereas you will actually ruin your suede with saddle soap due to the wax. So if you have saddles and boots and need to clean frequently, definitely go for the saddle soap. But if you own and use a wide variety of materials and fabrics like suede, then I think Shoe MGK is way more versatile. So without further ado, let's get this sudsed up. All right guys, just a little bit about the brand Ariat. It is an interesting one because they were the first to incorporate athletic technology into their equestrian footwear. Uh, they were deemed as the new breed of boots. And to this day, they aim to produce innovative quality and products that don't skip on integrity. All right, next guys, I'm going to take some fine grit sandpaper and just sand some of the fibers that have lifted up from scuffing and things like that. Now that we got some of those fibers off, we do wanna go ahead and re-dye the toe area. As noted in further detail on my Tory Birch video, I went ahead and put this leather dye into this marker. So let's get to it. And due to the nature of how completely dry this area boot was, we are going to hit it with some Bic 4 leather conditioner for a deep penetrating condition as well as a top barrier for protection.
let's go ahead and use a boar hairbrush to make sure everything is nice and even. The last step we're going to do is finish up this area with some Shoe MGK Leather Cream. All right guys, that's it for these Wild West area boots. A quick thank you for everybody watching. If you like leather redye videos and want to learn more, head over to my Tory Burch redye video where I go in more depth. I hope that you enjoyed this video as well as learned some new skills and tools that you can use to love your leather. As always, if I've earned your viewership guys, please hit that subscribe button and like the video. Let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments below and I'll see you guys on the next video. As noted on my Tory Burch video guys, I have used the and as noted in my Tory Burch get to get it to land No. I'm just trying to make it go straight. <laughs> Doesn't want to go straight. <laughs> Thank you.